Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple uh, quest system or quest uh, slash objective slash mission system in Unity. So it's pretty simple. Um, we use it by making a trigger and when you walk in the trigger the objective appears and when you exit the trigger you um, the the objective disappears or the objective is a GUI texture so when you exit the trigger um, the GUI texture disappears and when you enter the trigger again it does not appear but instead you can click tab and when you click tab the objective appears when you let go of tab it disappears so I'm gonna show you the end result how it looks so we play our game we walk in the trigger and this thing that, this, that is supposed to be replaced by a objective texture for example you can do it in GUI and Gem and GIMP uh, Photoshop whatever you can do it in paint it doesn't matter so it appears it tells you something so when you walk out of the trigger uh, when you walk out of the trigger um, it disappears when you walk in nothing appears but when you hold tab um, the GUI gets shown and when you let go of tab it disappears so let's open up our scripts so here um, this uh, the link to this is gonna be in the description you you can check it out on github and download it or copy it modify it whatever so um, I have a show objective bool which is false uh, which um, we use to check if the objective is being shown or not the serialized field thing means that um, we can access it from the inspector. Texture, it's the texture. Uh, private int collision. So um, the collision one we use as an integer to check if we already been in the if we've been in the trigger. So if we've been the trigger it for example is equal to one if we have never been in the trigger it's uh, equal to zero well um, I'll show you that later so on start the show objective is false because when the scene starts when the game gets played we don't want the objective to be shown void you can uh, type that this to true if you want but let's keep it a false so when you enter the trigger if other dot game object dot tag equals player so if the thing that entered the trigger is player we want to and the show objective is false and collision equals zero we're gonna show up the objective which, which is true and when we exit the trigger um, if other if the thing that exited is player show objective is false and collision equals one so as you can see this collision um, we need to, to we need it to be zero and by default it's zero so um, when it's zero and I enter the trigger the show objective is shown but if it's one it's not shown so if we already bend the trigger and we exited it the collision is one so if we walk in the trigger again the collision is not zero so it, the texture is, does not get shown so the function on GUI if the show objective is true uh, GUI dot draw texture I just you could have typed like only show objective or like this um, an exclamation mark before which is the, um, the false statement but I kept it true so you guys understand so the screen width divided by 1.5 and the screen height divided by 1.4 uh, you can uh, you can mess around with these values if you want to want the objective to be on the center of the screen upper screen in the corner you can mess around and see what fits you the best so and this is the size of the textures this is the size uh, X and size Y or no, the other way around I think but I'm not sure so um, you can mess around with that as well so the objective is what we want to draw which texture we want to draw and we stated it over here then we have the void update now this is responsible for us holding tab and then um, when we hold tab we want it to show when we don't hold it it does not show so if we hold if uh, input at get button down so you have to go into the input manager I'll show you that later and make a new show objective uh, input and when the collision is one so if the collision is not one if we haven't uh, entered the trigger before we can't hold tab and show it so show objective is true and the whole objective is getting shown so if I get button up so if I let go of it and the collision is one the show objective is false 
So how I set up this, you make a trigger, box letter, you can untick the mesh render, make the box letter trigger, attach the script, and select and type a collision uh, being zero if it's not already zero. And before um, you do that, you have to go to edit, input, uh, project settings, input, and make a size like if it's 19, 17, whatever it is, just make one more. And the last one is going to be named your previous one. So just change the name to show objective or show, oh, sorry. So show OBJ because that's how we uh, called it in the script. So you must call it the same way as it is called in the script. Positive button tab. It can be any button you want when you, so this is the button that you hold and the texture gets shown. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, I'll play it again. So if I hold tab right now, it's not getting shown, but if I enter the trigger and hold tab, it's still over there. If I exit and try to enter again, nothing happens. But if I hold tab, even if I'm in the trigger, it still shows. So this is a smart little way of um, adding objectives. So you can maybe add an NPC, make it, make it uh, play a sound effect, and um, it also displays the new objective. So thank you for watching this video guys, if you have any questions tell me in the comments and if you need anything else, have any um, recommendations or what you want me to help you out with next or what the video or what the next video is about, you can also tell me. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it, so have a nice day, bye. I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness How to stay current and relevant, this be my story, I'm selling it